Welcome back everyone. It is Wellness Wednesday. That means GI Physicians is with us to do that. Natia Nelson is here today. She is a CRNA. Okay. First of all, tell me for CNR, CRNA, what is that? You had to go to school, obviously, for that. Give us a little bit of your experience and where you went. I'm Natia Nelson. I'm a certified registered nurse anesthetist. I have several years experience as a critical care nurse. And then in my first master's degree is as a family nurse practitioner, which I've done for about four years. Okay. And I've worked for the past 11 years in anesthesia. You said first master's degree? Do you have more than one or you're going for it? I have two master's degrees. Oh, my first master's degree is as a family nurse practitioner and the second in nurse anesthesia. You're not messing around there. Okay, that's a lot of schooling. Okay, what type of uh, anesthesia does a, a patient coming in? They're obviously nervous. What kind of anesthesia? Walk us through that. What happens to them? It's called MAC anesthesia, monitored anesthesia care. So it's monitored as patients' vital signs are monitored, their pulse, blood pressure, heart rate and rhythm, capnography, allows me to monitor their breathing, which is entitled carbon dioxide. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people and know that, so you're keeping an eye on all that stuff, right? Keeping them safe and comfortable the whole time, yes. Yeah, can I ask a dumb question? So they come in, are they, do they, for them, is it just like falling asleep? Is that what happens? It's more what we call a TIVA, which is total intravenous anesthesia, so I get them propofol through their IV keep them asleep and comfortable the whole procedure so that they're pain free. Yeah, for those who've never had it, I had my first one last year. You do, you just fall asleep and then you wake up at the end of it, right? Is and that ask pretty much what, it? what happened and when is, right. is it done? Yeah, it's that you can't believe it. You think that you're gonna be, almost like you're gonna be awake through part of the procedure. But as you said, you take care of that, they come in, they start to get drowsy, they fall asleep and all of a sudden they're in a waiting room in a gurney just kind of trying to wake up, right? Right. Yeah, that works out well. Okay, you mentioned what MAC is. Why do you choose the endoscopy, which I always mispronounce it, the endoscopy anesthesia? Why is that chosen? I chose the endo endoscopy because I have a personal connection to endoscopy anesthesia. My okay. mother was diagnosed with colorectal cancer at 54, and she lost her battle colon cancer at 55. Okay. It's a very preventable cancer with a colorectal colonoscopy screening. Uh, most people need to get it checked at 45 or 50 years old. Yeah. If she would have had a colorectal screening at 45 or 50, that would have saved her life. This became kind of a calling for you then, right? Yes, I've been dedicated to endoscopy anesthesia for the past seven years. Good for you, that is awesome. Okay, well thank you for telling us about it. I appreciate it. I feel like I learned a lot today. That was really good. Thank Great. you so much. And we'll be back right after this.